Mickey, what is the emotion after that? Pride, satisfaction or disappointment? Um, I think uh, I think I have to do the boys through, uh, due justice, really. I think they came here and we were determined that we were going to play football. We were going to show everybody what good players that we have. Um, and I think that we, in fact, I know that we did that. We we came here to, to make sure that we, we represented Tramia properly. And I think from the first minute to the last, I think the, the boys take massive credit in, in doing that today. And in some respects, you've changed the formation. You've gone to five at the back, or so it appeared. How did that come across? And was it different to see actually two teams wanting to play football as opposed to perhaps we're more used to see one side trying to negate? Yeah, I, th- I think what we've got to say is, is credit to the, the, the players because... And you guys always work on hindsight. If that doesn't work today, you go, why did you do that? So every credit to the players for, for performing the way that they did. Um, we felt that that was the best way of, of us uh, performing today in order to try and get a result here at a, at a very, very good Peterborough team. So um, every credit to them for that. We, 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 sh- we showed the, the qualities that were needed and unfortunately we just couldn't get that one out of the end. But you probably seemed disappointed to see half time because I think we were so much on top. And then second half, the character came out even when we'd gone a goal down. Well, I think you've got to be fair to both groups of players. I think it was a really good cup tie. And I think if both teams played their part in that. I think you, you, you've got to be fair there. I think it was nip and tuck for, for pretty much most of the game and, and probably anyone who uh, could have won it. Of course, everybody will point to the fact that we are in the, the, the National League and and we come here and perform like that but we know that we've got good players um, and we're able to in a game of football like that we're, we're able to be involved and, and represent Tramia properly so I think you've got to give credit to both sets of players that the, the way that they attacked the game and, and made it a proper FA Cup time Does that set a, a template for how we should be playing for the rest of the season when we reach those heights? Oh not really played like that many many times I could show you many many games that we've played in and probably not got the rewards that we deserved and maybe haven't taken the chances when they've came along but no, I'll be first to say no they, they, they've played well on many many occasions we obviously want to improve a league position but they've been playing well for, for, for some time now but, but when the chances have came in maybe they haven't took them but today we did There's a lot of game intelligence as well You know, your, your experienced player like Jeff Hughes got the tempo right in midfield and a young man like Dylan Motley Henry though, you know, playing in a wing back role and he was very intelligent, very disciplined throughout the game as well. Yeah, I, I it would be wrong of me to single at any of them because they all played the part, the, the, the boys that come off the bench and the boys that came off. I don't really um, have any need to, to, to change it, really. It was just that we knew that what we had on the bench, which is every credit to the lads that we had on the bench, that we, we felt that they would go on and maybe change it or maybe just give you something a wee bit different. So that was no reflection on the ones that we brought off. Um, but the boys that went on have, have got us that equaliser. We're delighted with that. Um, and maybe we, we'll have to fight another day. And real belief you could win the game as well, you know, I mean, you know, right to the very end of it as well. It wasn't like, you know, hanging on, we were, you were pushing forward as well and thought you could win that match. Yeah, I, th- I think you've got to be fair to both sets of players, both, both clubs, we, we went for the victory. None of us wanted a, a replay, I don't believe. I think we wanted to try and get it settled today, we could, but I think we'll both take that. I think on, on balance you'll say that both teams deserve to, uh, to get another go. Uh, we'll be pleased about that. We'll, we'll have a fantastic atmosphere up at up at our place and, and we'll get another go. In fact, their keeper probably made more saves than, than, than Scott had to. I mean, Scott made one very, very good one in the second half, but the keeper was busy, wasn't he, in both halves? Yeah, but like I say, both teams played their part. I think it was a cracking cup tie. I think it's what the FA Cup should be and it should be all about. You should come and try and win the game and, and perform like the way that, that both the teams tried to do. And I thought it made for an entertaining game. The atmosphere was, was, was great, our fans were... I mean, I'm biased, isn't it? but your fans were top, top draw from minute one to the end. Absolutely magnificent. And, um, I mean, they, uh, they, they drove us on. And the trademark Andy Cook goal, you know, a, a cross that he could attack, got on the end of it, downward header, just what you want from your centre forward. Yeah, but the detail in it, you've, you, you've got to be aware of. He's, he's got himself in a good position. Well, the cross is coming in, he's decided he's going to get across the front of the, the defender, and then he's, he's, he's put the header down back where it came from, and, and we were all delighted to see it going in. And, and, I mean, delighted from what they live and uh, die by goals, didn't they? So we're delighted to see that happen. Did they defy your expectations today, or did you no. believe they were capable no, of that? No, not at all, no. That would be doing them a disservice. I know they're good players. 
I know they're capable of, I was comfortable of knowing coming here that I had good players. I knew that they were capable of that, we know that all the time. So it was no surprise. I've got to be fair and, and say to, to, to myself it was no surprise. It's just on these occasions that you, you, you want them all to step up and, and be brave and take part, and, and he absolutely did that. How good does it feel to be in the second round, Joe? Oh, it's great, isn't it? Because it's, it's, it's what Tranmere needs to. We're trying to recover here, we're trying to climb back. We should be playing against teams like Fort, uh, Peterborough all the time. We, we, we're used to that. These are the games that we want to be involved in, so we're, we're, we're trying to recover, we're trying to climb back. One of the ways of climbing back is getting results like we did today and, and being in the heart, as you say, for the second round, getting a replay and, and keep getting people through the turnstiles at home and, and we're all working hard to try and do that. I know you've talked a little bit about your bench already, but does it show the strength of the squad you've got now that you've got players like Larnell Cole to come on as well as Cookie? When you see Larnell, Larnell just makes me laugh. He's just, he's just such, a, such a good little player, isn't he? I mean, he yeah, it is... It is, it is nice to be able to turn around and, and think that the, the 11 that are playing are playing fine, they're playing well. But to be able to turn around and see that you think, you know what, we can take a wee bit of a, not even a gamble, we can we can change things a wee bit here and bring on players with, with, with different qualities that might just cause them problems. Um, and we, we were able to do that today and the two boys that go on uh, take great credit for that, but every one of them was, was terrific. And Jake Kirby back as well, after first time since February. Yeah, it's 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 just reward for all his hard work. We've lost some very very good players, haven't we? It's, it's such a shame. We've got people like Tollett and James Wallace, um, been able to come here. Jack Dunn been able to come here and, and 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 show people what they're made of as well. We've been hit bad by we a lot of injuries to a lot of very very talented players. But look, it was it was great. It was it was superb. Yeah, Jay's back, so great. What were the boys? New dad Ali Norburn back on the side after missing out last week. How satisfied were you with his performance? Well, he's had a little baby daughter, so we're, we're, we're delighted. So it was great to have another member of the family, uh, another fan. So that was good. And you, you seen today, he's such a good player. He's, he's, he's such a talent. We, uh, we have Jay Harris suspended, who's very unlucky not to be involved um, in this because he's such a good player as well. But that's the that's the importance of having a strong squad. That when you do get suspensions, you can you can bring people in and, and, and um, they, can, they can carry the thing forward. You just clarify the situation with Jerry McDonough's loan deal at the moment. When when does it run till? Is it likely to be extended? Yeah, we've, we've, we've extended it, so he'll be here until mid January now. So we're delighted with that because he gives us a different threat up front and helps the likes of Cook and, and Norburn, Norwood sorry, uh, with, with the workload as you've seen today Big Jerry's is, is gave us an hour and a big man Cookie comes on and he does the, the last half an hour and gets us the goal so we'll continue to rotate the front men in order to try and score goals, they, they're all very aware of that, if you go on and you score a goal then you'll, you'll, you'll play in the next game and, and we'll continue with that and we all want him to do really well And Jack Don, how far away is he from fitness? Oh he's still some distance away, I think he's still it's going to be a good four or five weeks, so he joins them, the little injured gang. But um, oh, we, we, we want to focus on the, the, the players today. We, we know that we've got good players to, to come back after after Christmas and into January, but certainly the players that play today will super. Very welcome today. Thank you.